Hello, beautiful spirits. I have some really powerful news for you today. This is going to be an astrological daily. So what we see here is we see a time when absolute mysterious um, sort of a bearing uh, that you look very glamorous right now, that discretion is advised, that the way for you to present yourself in a way that brings you good luck is to dress beautifully, to dress magnificently, to be sort of quiet, to be a bit mysterious without looking like you're trying to hide something. Jupiter says that you're out there. It's that fiery energy of enthusiasm. But if you have some sort of creative endeavor that you've been working on, Neptune represents glamour and music and actors. So for many of you, going out to look for a full-time acting job or an acting gig, this is also going to apply to meeting somebody in a relationship through your career or the way you try to advance in the world. This looks like a trifecta time in your life that if you really don't undermine yourself, and I'll tell you how not to do that, if you stay in your power, if you stay in your strength, you are very likely to manifest being the part of a couple that you could have never imagined. Sun and Pluto is just absolutely life altering in a very positive way because you have Juno, the planet of good luck with Jupiter affecting Cupid, which is tapping Venus on the shoulder. Now I'm assuming that most of you know who Cupid is. That's like the love the love angel and Venus is the planet of love and money and you know when we get Juno that's just like Santa Claus coming along to transform your life you are likely to meet this person in the area of career in a very public sort of arena if you are involved in public speaking or have any kind of a high profile job or you could meet somebody in this arena so I see that if you do not sabotage this, most of you are going to enter a period when we're going to have more successful, happy, joyful marriages than we've ever had in the history of mankind, womankind, humankind. So that's the overall energy. Now, these are the ways that you can undermine your powerhouse energy either to make a lot more money, to have a very powerful a very significant, long-lasting, till death do us part, legacy relationship is the following. Okay, these are the don'ts. This is what not to do. We see that you should absolutely not do anything without thinking it through, grounding yourself, and being really sure of what any action that you take will not create too many ripples of shock or surprise that whatever surprises there are might be like, oh, honey, you know, I'm home. By the way, my parents are stopping in. Those sorts of things are okay. Or, or parents, I have a new person that I want to introduce you to. So stay very grounded. You know, don't do anything frivolous or don't take big gambles. When we get the energy of Black Moon Lilith, for some of you in your careers especially, now I'm not speaking so much about relationship at all, but what we see is that in your career area, it looks as though you could be dealing with somebody who's very forceful and very much opposing some idea that you're presenting. Your feeling is that they could be from a different culture, a different ethnicity, they could be from a different country because we have Sagittarius here. So it really is about ninth house travel. But this person is going to be very forceful and you're going to want to rebel about something very much linked to this Mars energy. And I would highly recommend you don't because we have Jupiter squaring off here. You're, you may overreact to something that you simply should ignore, okay? So the better thing is, is if you don't know what to do, don't do anything at all, but do not rebel, do not get argumentative, do not challenge somebody's authority, especially if that person is a female. Because we have the moon, somebody who has a lot of pride, a feminine energy, doesn't matter whether they're male or female, 
is in this very sort of sanctimonious energy of judging everything you say with great critical authority. I would not challenge this person. They have the ability to shut you down and to shut your plans and your dreams down. And so I want you to be very cooperative. If there's something going on here, you have this energy that speaks to the fact that as the time goes by, we have moon. Once it starts to trine the energy of Mars, you will come up with a much better idea, a much better way to sort of wrestle the alligator of authority into a mindset that becomes much more like teamwork. Do not go against their basic belief systems. Do not have an argument about that. We have, this is a fixed sign, this is a fixed sign, and this is a fixed sign. So if you get into an energy where you start to, you'll get the dark side of an authoritarian figure that may lash out at you very suddenly if there is some any sort of an ego argument, whether it be career, whether you're negotiating with someone to buy their home, whether you're talking to a boss, whether you're talking to a banker because you want a house loan, you know, no matter who you're dealing with, it's really good to stay out of any kind of conflict with somebody who has the power to hurt you. That's what I mean by an authority figure. In the meantime, oh my God, this is wonderful. The seventh house, we have it sitting right here at Virgo that really coming into a relationship in which you're honest, you're yourself, you're generous of spirit, you're going to meet someone who matches that energy unlike any other relationship you've ever had. It's a powerful time for everyone. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.